How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Well, here's your question. I hear that while preparing for Miss Universe, you were taught to do something called a duck walk. Uh, what is it, and does it involve any quacking? <laughs> no, it doesn't involve any quacking. But what it is is, as an athlete, I needed to learn how to do more hip swaying so that I can improve my catwalk. And so what it is is, you are on high heels. I'm gonna kind of mini demonstrate here, and then you go down and you pop your hips one way and the other. So on the so. The reason why it's called a duck walk is because if you walk like that, it kind of resembles looking at a duck like wagging its tail, its butt. So, but no, you don't need to to quack when you walk. In in America, that has nothing to do with a duck at all. <laughs> nothing. Thank you, Thailand. Everybody, show some love for our first five semifinalists tonight. I'm just an ordinary person who believes that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when they believe in themselves, have courage to take that first step, and to never give up in the face of adversity. I'm standing here today because I followed my heart and dared to live my dreams. Thank you. As a kid, I had a little nickname. Um, I was a little doctor because I loved helping other people. After I won Miss Universe Thailand, that's when I realized that, hey, there's actually a different path, a different way that I can help other people. I am able to help flood victims or to the We Are One, my art project. It gave me an opportunity to help people on a larger scale. Just seeing them happy, just seeing them like give me back a smile, that for me is my reward. Thailand. Thailand. Thailand started the We Are One campaign, promoting inclusivity for underprivileged children through sports, art, and music. This philanthropic 26-year-old other project, ABLE, works to improve the self-esteem of people with disabilities. Thailand. I feel powerful when I know that my journey is able to help inspire and motivate as well as encourage other people to take care of their body and to feel happy being healthy. Thailand. My dress portrays how I am. Playful, but at the same time it has one of my favorite colors, which is red, and I really love red because it signifies the color of love. Thailand, you're next. Here's your question. Government surveillance is used to keep many nations and their people safe, but some believe this invades our right to privacy. What is more important to you, privacy or security? That's a very tough question. I believe that every country has their own uh, government policy to keep us safe, and I believe that it shouldn't cross the line of going into our privacy because we have a right to privacy but security is also very important so I believe that in order to live in a better society we should also have the government look into a line a middle ground as to where they can come and live together with society Still, thank you Thailand dear anyone anywhere are you one I'm hoping for can I find a open door, one that is never sure? I don't think the pressure comes from Can other people. Sure the pressure really comes from me because I really want to do my best and I have a goal that I want to accomplish. So I actually don't take it as pressure that, you know, it brings me down, but it's pressure that I want to keep doing my best and I want to enjoy every day. I believe that in a beauty pageant 
like for example Miss Universe gives us a platform where women can really speak their voice and empower other people to inspire other people and encourage and motivate others to just be the best that they can be and this platform itself is the best way to just spread the message Oh mm -hmm.